I can feel it in my gut. Maybe it's the barometer changing. Or maybe it's the thrill of trying something new. That flutter of excitement with a touch of nervous energy. Yeah. Oh, that feels like a bit of fish. Jared and I are drift boating for trout for the first time today with my mate Angus Reynolds. We've got high expectations, but can the reality meet them? Just like the midsummer humidity, the anticipation is palpable as we find ourselves launching in the shadows of Blowering Dam on the mighty Tumut River. Now you tell me if you want to be somewhere or have the boat somewhere. We'll just sort of take it pretty relaxed for the start and you get used to your parameters and right on, how it all works. I'll turn the boat around the right okay. way. Look, I mean, you obviously know the, the holding lies in this river better than we're going to, so, you know. Oh, just... it'll keep you guessing here, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. But we'll figure out where they're sitting for today and yep. maybe focus a bit on that. Yep. Keeping a good eye on... There we go. Maybe. Yeah. Keeping a good eye on any of the still waters as we go down too. Yeah. Because you see cruisers in there. Yeah. Well nabbed. That didn't like, take long, Peachy. What have we gone two metres down river? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll something like that. Introduction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Captain. Thank you, mate. Oh, he's got nice colours, that fish. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at the colours on him. Stunning. Beautiful. There he is. Number one. The river's running uncharacteristically low at the moment, so I've opted to bring my nine foot six three weight dry fly rod to fish primarily a dry dropper rig. But if it turns out to be heavy indicator nymphing or stream fishing, then I might be in a spot of bother. That left side has a bit of a gutter. Yep. Do you want to place a few while we come through here? But yeah, this river level, a lot of times we're prioritising better water. and It's also good too, like you, you cruise along a bit and you just keep your eyes peeled. And you're like, oh, okay, they're all skittling out of such a depth. And yep. There's a riser down on the right there. Yep. Uh, oh, out there? Yeah. Sort of near where that white fluffy thing is. Is that a platypus? Oh, it might be actually, yeah. Down there? Yeah, could be. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it is. And do you find that uh, people like to fish your flies or they're fishing their own stuff? Oh, good. You do get the odd person wanting them to fish their stuff. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, particularly when it's like this, you've got more more range of options, but when it is heavy, we find that there's some, the, some patterns that we've developed that, you know, they, they get down, they get in the right spot and just seems to be what they're reacting to you know it might be subtle changes like a, a dark blue collar on on a variation yeah might might be peeling five to one fish yeah for sure um for sure. you know to a fly that might just have a, a no collar or a white collar for instance yep um can be size a lot of the times you know it's as simple um with the with the nymphing at high water particularly where if it's nice and bright, you've got UV, and if it's dark, you go a pheasant tail or something like that. So yeah, um, and and it really does make a very obvious difference. Yeah. And one of the things that'll be different to what you're used to with with a casting drift. Mhm. Mm and oh, yeah, there it is. Hey ya. Hey. -he. Little tacker. I'll get the big net. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful Thank you, mate. Handle generally. Yeah, mate. Oh, good. Yeah, sort of same as you know, with 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 the nymphing off the boat. Um, you got to think of it like you're you're casting out, setting up your drift, and then fishing to fish all the way down there. So a lot of the times, like slapping it down, picking up, shooting, water loading, casts, and things are all all fair game. I think that was bottom. Oh, there he goes. Beautiful. There we go. Now that we've found a bit of a pattern, the fish started to come at a steady pace. 
Jared could no longer resist and put down the camera to start fishing himself. I was smashing them from the front of the boat, but Jared was still finding his way with the heavier hopper rig. Oh, well, that's not bad. Good to be on the board, Peachy. Yeah. Because you're giving me a up and hiding at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> well, mate, to be fair, you have been filming. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be why I'm hitting more fish um, on my nymph, is because I'm on, I'm on 6X. Yeah, yeah. I'm not getting away with 6X on this. No. Six weight, though, that's a problem. Probably should have just bought my three weight, but anyway. Mate, you'll catch up when you get in the front. Let me know when you want to swap, mate. I'm, I'm easy. Oh, I'm happy, mate. It's pleasant either way. Yeah. Nice, mate. Oh, that's a good fish. Slightly better. Slightly better. Who's this guy? Nice. 5X, gotta remember I can put a bit more, a bit more herd on it than the old seven. <laughs> We'll get back on the nymphy oh. rod and start line fishing nice all the time. down there. I love how you guys talk about 5X like it's heavy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even cable, own eh? 5X. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I think I've got one full of it. Yep. Oh, oh that was that fish. Oh, did I just pop my nymph? I think I just popped my nymph. Well, that stuff looks good, yeah. There he is. Uh, it's pretty decent average going on. Yeah, mate, this is unreal fishing, eh? Yeah. The floodgates had really opened yeah. now, and the fish started to come thick and fast. Jared was smacking them on the hopper dropper, and I was racking up the numbers on the lighter rig. To change it up, we started to look for a likely run to hop out and give the Euronymph a go. Backwater there. One of the luxuries of travelling in a drift boat is the ability to hop out on an inaccessible bit of water and fish where not many other people get the opportunity. Like that sort of bubble line in the tail out through there, that all looks really good to me. Yep. There we go. Yeah, I think because it's because the water's pretty cold, there's probably going to be more fish back in this slower stuff okay. rather than up on the shelf. But who knows? Jared may prove me wrong. Yep. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah, it was a better one too. It's just amazing the, the density of fish in this river, hey? Yeah. Like, there's so many. Yeah. There he is. Beautiful. All right, we're off and running again. It was Jared's turn up the front now to get first shot at the fish. You can definitely catch fish from both ends of the boat, but when the water's low and clear like this, I think the front seat gets the best opportunity. Oh, that might have been bottom there, I think. Diddly umptious in there. Yeah. Oh. Even with the river levels as low as they are, there are still some sections that run with a bit of pace. I can only imagine that in high water, some of the rafting could be fairly high paced and exciting. 
Okay. Oh, there's a nice little bit of backwater off the back of that tree there, isn't there? There you are. <laughs> <The jam's laughs> special. That's 30. Not, bad, not that I think we'll see effect this, but might still be a bit slow this go, but we'll have a little bit. Oh, there's a very big fish there. Oh, there's a few, he's seen us. See him? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. a huge one. Yeah. Fish. Yeah. Yeah. Double. Was that down for a while then? No, nah, no, nah, just pop. Oh, yeah. Just that. It's the around to try and find Yeah, it. it's the same colour as that glare, eh? That could be a good one to nymph this. There's a lot of water there. They are stacked up in there, eh? Yeah. I reckon this would be a nice one to nymph. Yeah. Right. So we just jumped out of the boat here. Got this lovely little run here. It's got nice depth, good flow. Some soft seams on the edges. Yeah, there's one. Ooh, and on the slide, bang. It's real good stuff. Yeah. Because you can drift forever here, I never know when to go pull it out and reposition, you know what I mean? You go, how long like, shall I let it soak I'm for? keeping the drift and, and, you know, don't be afraid to mend, especially with a hopper, like that mend jerk yeah. is um, only good, if anything. Especially tracing edges for, for brownies. You know, you're getting it in there, you're trying to set up for the longest drift yep. possible. Yeah. I was looking somewhere else and yeah. <laughs> Doing all kinds of stuff except fishing. Yeah, I can see how you could get into a bit of a mess in that section. Mm -hmm. Got a bit of an audience up here. Yeah. <laughs> Fairly close to the wall around here, just because I know a lot of good stack up on it. Okay. Oh, dry fly eater. That's promising. Oh, got him. Nice dry fly eater there. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. How many are we at now? 40? 40. Yeah. 44. I've stopped contributing. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice little brownie on Nice the one. Oh. Jared? There's sticks there too. Yeah. Right. Oh, Look at that. He's nice. Back in the zone. Yep. Well, mate, you know, every dog that's has their day. Fish. Plenty of times you've kicked my ass. <laughs> <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Peach, peach, peach. Oh. <laughs> Carl Peach, you don't deserve that one. <laughs> and a uh, bit of a concentration lapse there. <laughs> I think we'll call that one for Gus. <laughs> Thinking about what you're having for dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I get these things called indicator dreams. <laughs> Usually using you know, pink and orange bobbers and I get these funny nightmares. Yeah. Oh, good morning, session. Yeah, bloody oath. Jared's on a nice one on the, uh, the nymph rod here. Just sitting down on that current, eh? He knows how to fight. Once you get their head up on the surface like that, you can usually just slide them in. There he is. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there That's he goes. Buddy. <laughs> nice one, mate. 66. Love it. We're two thirds of the way there, almost. We'll get it. No worry. <laughs> What do you reckon, Gus? Do you think we'll hit a hundred? Oh yeah, working this hard, baby. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a brochure for guide's life. <laughs> <laughs>
lie on on the riverbank while you're uh, <laughs> while the angler's out catching the fish in the in the run. <laughs> 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 We're having an awesome day out on the Tumut today. We've scored a bucket load of fish already, and uh, we're only halfway through the day, really. Yeah. For people who, who want to come out and fish with you, what kind of techniques can people expect to use? What are the main sort of staples fishing a drift boat on the Tumut? Yeah, well, I mean, the big numbers come on the nymphing. Yeah. So we'd be running indicator rigs and, and droppers around that eight foot mark and yep. quite heavy flies in the big water, and, and you just tone it down a bit when it's shallower. This time of year is excellent for your hopper fishing and dry fly fishing on the edges. You could have someone who's just learning on the day on the same boat as someone who's a really efficient fisherman on the back and they'll both have just as much fun and often the beginner will catch more fish because the experienced guy will be fishing dries and things to the edges and the beginner will just be dredging nymphs nice and deep. But There's an opportunity for people uh, who want to sort of stream a fish as well, isn't there, to chase, oh, yeah. chase some bigger browns around the edges? Yeah, yeah, if you're on your game with your streamer casting, the streamer fishing on here is unbelievable, yeah. No, it's fantastic. I mean, you can come here and pretty much do what, what technique you want. Yeah, obviously you for spay as well. Yeah. I think it's big enough when it's, when it's up and you can fish two-hander on here too, which is a bit of a luxury. But the other great thing, of course, is you can, when you find a really nice run like this, we can just pull over at the side and as, as Jared's doing out behind us, pop out and go and nymph the run or, or dry fly fish it or yeah. whatever you want to do. Yeah, well, like a lot of yeah. the river is locked up by private property and at this river level you could you could make your way the whole length up, but having a spot to get out on is tricky. But yeah, having access with the boat, you know, a lot of the times when the river's up, we'll sort of drift down to a spot like this and go around the corner and pull up and then come back through and sight fish it. As you've seen, it's crystal clear and, and it remains like that when it's high water too, which is cool because you sort of sight fishing to fish that might be seven or eight feet deep and it pushes a lot of those bigger fish up onto the edges anyhow trying to escape that fast flow yeah so yeah the the sight fishing's awesome the bank fishing's amazing and yeah and you get the access with the boats yeah so mate if people want to get in touch with you and uh you know book a, a trip how do they find you yeah the best spot to start is probably the website you can have a look at the packages that we offer and and a bit of what's going on gallery and that sort of thing and the cool thing on there i think is is the rentals you can rent kids' waders, which is good because kids grow so quick and eat yeah. herbs, everything, basically. Yeah. Then there's booking on there too, so you can go through that process. And Fantastic. So that's just allflyfishing.com. Yeah, awesome. I'll put a link in the uh, in the description below. We've got to get busy and see if we can crack the boat record today. Yeah, yeah we're, we're getting at, there. We're at 60. Did Jared get, did you get any more, mate? One more. So we're at 67. Going to see if we can hit 100 by the end of the 100, drift. 101. 101 for the record. Yeah. Let's <laughs> see if we can crack it. <laughs> oh, looking good. All right, time to get our game faces on. We've got a record to chase. So it's time for Jared and I to switch into comp mode and catch as many as we can in the remaining water. The hunt is on. We're chasing down that magic number, and it's almost within reach. There he is there. Cracking little fish. Yeah, what a beauty. But we're also in a race against time. We've only got a limited amount of river left to go, and I've started to get that feeling in my gut again. The weather is changing. It feels like someone stuck a pin in a balloon and the barometric pressure is falling fast. Oh, come on. Oh, no. oh come on. You bobbed under. I don't know if we're sort of spooking them. Yeah, they have gone flat. Eh? That was a rock. <laughs> Got to be a fish on that drift. So they really shut down, haven't they? 
don't know whether it's just this part of the river or um, changing conditions. Something's happened. Come on mate, we're on 90. We're nearly there, we can do it. Nice little roof there, isn't there? Yeah. Uh, that was a good fish. Giving me some curry. Ninety-one. This is our pull-out spot. Is it? So I tell you what, very nicely done, guys. Thanks, yeah. mate. Thank you. Take ninety-two, yeah. didn't you? That was awesome. It was a pleasure. Oh, make it ninety-two. No, if we can land him. No. <laughs> Me iba a enamorar, jamás no quería saber nada más, nunca más. Pero vos apareciste de repente y me hablaste con una voz no, que no sé qué perdí la razón y mi corazón hay amor. 92. Not bad. Not not bad. Really bad <laughs> we didn't quite crack the century, but uh, yeah, we'll have to come back next time and get that. Yeah, I think 92 is a pretty good yeah, score by uh, <laughs> by anyone's standards, no, isn't I'm it? Happy with that. <laughs> yeah, you guys fished really well. It was awesome having you out. Yeah, Thanks. Learned a lot. That was unreal, mate. What a fantastic day, guys! If you want to have a fantastic day like this, uh, get in contact with Angus from Hall Fly Fishing, and uh, yeah, come out and drift the tumen. I am all. No te preocupes, que yo siempre de quererte, de amarte y admirarte, ay amor. No te preocupes, lo que siento yo por vos es cada vez más fuerte. Yo pensaba que esto del amor.